All right, this next question brought to me by some of my teammates. Uh, Kenny and the O-line want to know, is Bosa going to be there uh, week one? I don't know. I'm praying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Not Just Football starts now, and I'm here with our special guest, one of my former teammates, uh, pro bowler, 37 and a half sacks. Man, you were getting up there. You're going into your eighth year now. No, I know, I know. I said I done grew up since I, I know, uh, you, was the little old pup, man. I can't you believe are, it. You are. <laughs> from, from South Carolina State, one of my very good friends, Javon Hargrave. Thank you for joining us today, dude. I'm happy to be here. Dude, okay, so I, when we were preparing this, I was thinking about, like, the first time I got to hear about you, um, or second time, because, you know, they had asked me to uh, look at a couple guys, but when I got to announce your pick uh, when you were drafted, man, it was crazy, because, like, Hayden was with me, we were mm -hmm. in Chicago, wow. and... You know, I'm already nervous. I got to go up there and present this. And I'm like, I better get a name I can, like, say. Because, like, <laughs> you, you get some of those names. Like, oh, no. gosh, I'm, I'm in trouble. And so I got to announce it. And I got to announce your pick. And I was just, you know, I called you after. But uh, take us through that night for you. I think uh, it's so funny because uh, as, as a kid, I grew up as a Steeler fan. So... I just remember, uh, you know, the draft process is like a long process. So I just remember seeing all them names going and even like looking at one of my good friends, SD, getting drafted like second round. I'm just thinking like, man, forget the Steelers, forget everybody. Like, I can't believe everybody, <laughs> everybody sleeping on me. Like, just in my feelings, just mad because I, uh, I got drafted late, late, um, late third round. So it was like, you know, I'm about to go into that. Third day, <laughs> I, I'm with my family. I'm ready for everybody to get away from me. Like, I'm got my headphones on. We in the bowling alley. I'm not talking to nobody no more. And I just remember uh, seeing that 412 number come pop up on my screen. I'm just, <laughs> I just ran out. I just shot outside. And uh, it was Coach T. And uh, I don't think my family, my family didn't know. Well, they knew I was getting drafted, but they didn't know what team. Then I had like a keychain with like the Steelers, and I'm just showing them like <laughs> this is the thing. And everybody just, you know, everybody screaming, yelling. I'm my people's crying. I'm just yelling at the top of my lungs. Coach T, them can't hear me no more. And <laughs> man, that was just like that was like became like the worst. It was like kind of like the worst day to like the best day of my life, like all at once. So it was like a so surreal moment. Like uh, I think I tell everybody, man. If, like that feeling of getting drafted is just like it's it's one of the best feelings you ever gonna feel in your life. So yeah. that was a great feeling for me. Oh man, it's funny you bring that up. You funny you bring up Sean D. Um Sean Davis. And this is how bad <laughs> the NFL is. So like that year I was up for a Walter Payton Man of the Year. And they gave me this picture of oh, wow. But look who they said I announced. Look at that. <laughs> he said Sean Davis. <laughs> I didn't even get the card right that I know. Oh, yeah, that's funny. It's, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, this just remains in the corner. I'm not even putting this up because I'm like, I didn't even announce this damn pick. That's funny, boy. I, I, gave, I gave SD. I told SD about the story, too, because I was just talking, joking about him. Like, man, they took a safety off of me. Like, I was, uh, it's so funny that became my roommate and one of my friends. <laughs> I'm like, Dang, it's just crazy how the NFL works. <laughs> well, like you say that, like Connor, my little brother, he kind of went through it too. He said he was looking at the screen and other people were getting drafted. And he was like, man, that tight end went over me? How, how they you? And he's going back and forth between rooms. I'm like, bro, just chill out. It's going to happen. And like, I couldn't, he just kept ignoring me. He was so mad that like this tight end was going. He was like, that dude is trash. How is yeah, he going? Yeah, that's, that's all you do though. Like, man, it's like, I seen a kicker. They drafted kickers. I was like, there's no way a kicker just went over me in the NFL draft. So yeah, I, ooh, I, I, boy, that was like, that was, yeah, that was a bad time. I, that's the first day I never. That's the first day I never ate any food. Like I ain't eat one time that day. Like the whole time, I I, I didn't even think about it until like the next day. But I just 
I was sick, sick to my stomach <laughs> that day. Like, yeah, I, I definitely don't want to do that no more though. <laughs> but okay. it turned out great. Okay, and I know you might get a little pissed off with this, but I got to bring it up because I think okay. it is is not right. We got to talk about you getting stuff from the Pro Bowl because I was kind of ticked off that you didn't make the Pro Bowl. You had you ended up with eleven sacks last year, and there were two guys. One who didn't finish the year, who made the Pro Bowl, and then another guy who had seven sacks. I just didn't feel it was right to see what you had did this year. You guys went to the Super Bowl, and you were a big reason because of it. Uh, I just didn't like that you didn't get chosen for your your first or this would be your second Pro Bowl, right? Yeah, it was in my second. It's just like I remember. It's crazy you say that. I remember. Uh... The time when you got snubbed, like when you had the twelve sack year, like <laughs> you was just saying that, like, how that's how I, that's how I kind of felt. Like I was just so hurt, like just like I just couldn't believe it. Like you know, you wanted to be happy for your teammates, but I was just so hurt for like a couple of weeks. Like I can't believe because I just know, like I don't know if it's because I got this little quiet demeanor or I just don't be saying much, but it's just like I know. If anybody had did what I did last year on a winning team, they would have been boosted up so crazy. Like just like yeah. it just be that be in my head. Like I know they would have boosted them up like they was defensive player of the year if they had the stats that I had last year. So it was it definitely was hard. I still be thinking about it, man, because I be uh you know, it just feel like they they they, they jipped Yo, me from my lead, <laughs> you were leading in Pro Bowl votes That's for the fan. I do it you were number one. I'm like, how the hell does this even happen? Now, this like the first year. Like, I was just like, I, I thought I had it in the bag easy. <laughs> like, I, was, I, even Bro, I remember texting you. I'm like, I got like five sacks right now. I'm like, like Hargrave's got all these sacks. I'm like, bro, you you about to go? Just don't even worry. Oh, that's about what it. everybody else see. And I'll be trying to tell like my agents and people like, oh, it's, just, it's in the bag for you. I don't even, I'm just like, <laughs> I got a feeling. Like I just, I'll be having a feeling. I'm like, man, I know they can't do no dumb stuff this year. But they can't. When that thing came out, I was just like, I was, I was sick because you know the year before they say. You need a year. What's the the rule? You you, you, need get, a you year. Have a good year. You don't get it the year yeah. you earned it. You don't then get it the year you earned it. They put you in the next year. So I'm like, all right, I made it. So I should be good now. Like I should be great, <laughs> man. Yeah. I was, bro, I was sick. Then I just want to see. I just want to see who. Like I just. I wish they could show who voted. <laughs> At least bro, the our grade. Like, <laughs> like I remember the year I had twelve sacks, and I remember going in the meeting, and like Mike T being like. Here the guys going to the Pro Bowl. And he was like, if you didn't make it, it doesn't matter. And I'm here for people like, <laughs> like, I'm not feeling you know, this at all. That's Coach T for you right there. Yeah. Like, it's hard. Yeah, that's why I said it was just so hard. Like, because you, you know, everybody hitting you just like, you should have made it, but just still, where I was just, it doesn't help. I was so sad. <laughs> it doesn't help. I went home so Javon. sad that day. Being in the NFC, does it kind of feel like you're already playing for second place with how high everyone puts Aaron Donald up? Oh, for sure. You like, but <laughs> but AD like you can take AD. You get AD, AD, AD is AD. So it's like I right. like okay. Yeah. I knew I knew AD was gonna be in the <laughs> You just take it. It's just like you just look at the other two. Like okay, who who else doing something? That I I expected AD to be in there. He only played like, eleven games though. He was hurt. Yeah, I mean, AD you know, wouldn't even put himself in. Availability is your best once, ability. Once you get you get a reputation in the league, you 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 can get a few years. You can you can just play around a couple years. I ain't doing that. Shoot, I got to play every damn game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yours different. <laughs> they gonna make you work for yours. <laughs> they, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't gonna make you work, but but once you get like a, you know, AD. TJ's the Pat Mahomes, like yeah. they just they just them. don't put them in. <laughs> they yeah. just they just get in. They just get in it. Like so, I wasn't tripping on AD, but I was definitely mad though. Still, I couldn't believe it. like hurt. we all mad for you, bro. We all mad. Yeah. For, we all. I I totally agree with you, bro. I was I was hurt. I still be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, you got some things to soften the blow though. You signed a nice little deal, mm -hmm. and it ain't little. That's why I said, that's why I told uh, my agent, like, 
Well, I guess yes, they do respect me a little bit in the league. <laughs> <laughs> the, the right people respect me in the league, so yeah, I'm kind of happy. I rather not saying I do want the Pro Bowl. I rather have that than that. So okay, that makes sense. I, I do want that. All right. So you brought up the NFC. We talked about the NFC a little bit, but this week go is the last week before the NFL season starts. And what do you know? The Steelers get to open up with the 49ers. I don't know. Uh, what, what, what do you what you think about this week? What's your thoughts? On I the just game? Like that. I said, "Boy, God is good." Like, <laughs> <laughs> God, me, I'm coming back to Pittsburgh for the first game. Like, yeah. you know, this, like I count this. I don't really count the COVID year because uh. It wasn't no fans when I came back. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this like the real, like, I'm coming home, you know, when I first started. Like, I get to see y'all do the, what's the, uh, the renegades. I ain't see the renegades in a while. Like, uh, I'm excited to uh, play in front, like, to play, play in Pittsburgh for my first game. Like, yeah, okay. this is the first one back in the city. So, yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah I, don't, I ain't gonna say how I'm excited until uh, the game over. <laughs> see? Hey, oh. go, but, <laughs> but I am excited to come home and just, uh, you know, play, play in Pittsburgh. It's like the perfect thing for me. I love that you can st- you still consider it home. That's, that's what's yeah, up. I mean, that's what I they caught that too. They I drafted caught that too, me, Cam. so it's like, you know. You know, that's why I started. It's like the little, you know, <laughs> I came in the lead there. So, I, I do. I know that is home for me. Don't be surprised if they boo you now. I ain't. I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I, they boo I James know, Harrison. I don't, think, I, don't think I, I don't know if I get booed in Pittsburgh, though. I, I be they boo everybody Pittsburgh. if you're not with the Steelers. Oh, yeah, that's different. See, see I know I'm going to get booed in Philly. For sure, it's like all right, you know, question. <laughs> Pittsburgh, I was like, oh, they might, you know, some some fans might still show me a little love now. Yeah, scream on so, my name. So, what do the 49ers have to do to get the win? <laughs> you gonna ask me that? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta dominate the trenches, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta. You know, it's uh, y'all got a good offensive line. Um, y'all got a good defensive line, and I feel like we got a good offensive line and defensive line. So. You know, like everybody say, it starts in the trenches. So uh, I think whoever win the trenches is is gonna win the game. Yeah. And we, uh, I mean, y'all do got some, y'all do got some good wide receivers too. We do too. So it's gonna come up the other things too. But I think the trenches is the uh, the key to the game, though. Javon, how different is Kenny this year compared to last year when you played him as a rookie? Do you think? I don't know. I think that's still to, to be determined. Um, he looked good in the preseason. though. No, you can tell he done matured uh, a lot in the preseason and more confident and like throwing the ball, throwing it, uh, throwing it deep to them guys, and letting them uh, playmakers make plays. You can tell he got real comfortable. But hopefully, he ain't too. It ain't gonna be like the Eagles game. Sunday. Let's get that right now. It ain't yeah, gonna that was be like ugly. The Eagles Last game. year was ugly, Cab. I can't lie. I mean, he has bragging rights on you. Last year was might be the worst game you've ever played in. Like, yeah, we won it. Like, we won bro. Like, y'all, y'all beat me smoked. once. I beat y'all. Y'all beat me once. I beat y'all once. So this, this, the, this the little tiebreaker. I've been gone. So. Oh, you know, you know what was bad about that game? The the fact that like, I think you got. Did you get two sacks in the first half? Nah, no, nah, I got, I got two. It, it wasn't two. It was one in the first half. Though. I was. It, I thought it was two. I thought it was two. I was like, damn. And he, he, you know, got off by his hand to save from getting two sacks in the first half, though. And I remember the the sack at the end of the first half, and I remember being like, "Man, he just you all just gonna let him do that?" <laughs> <laughs> like I was so annoyed. Hey, I was I was looking at y'all sideline trying to trying to get y'all attention a little bit. I'm not oh, looking man, at you. When, no, I was trying to find you with Coach T, but steer <laughs> over there. Yeah. I definitely did, but. Nah, it was. I only had one though. I only had one. It was a good. It was a good sack though. The end of half. I couldn't believe y'all threw the ball before the half. I'm like, yes. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I needed that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> um, I do remember when we uh played your, when Philly came to here, and you had gotten a sack. Cause what you're you're like one of the only few that's gotten a sack on Ben and Kenny, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many times, like, like, we've gone against Ben all these years in practice. You had to be licking your chops when you got That a was so fun. That was, like, <laughs> you know, you can't touch Ben. You can't even get close to Ben. I remember when I first got to Pittsburgh, and, you know, it was like the Ricky minicamp, and I had hit the quarterback, and Coach T come and put on an example talking about, uh, 
if this was being, you know, he put you on the team board. He said, yeah. if this was being, they would have called you a bus because you would have been going back home if you would have touched <laughs> being like this. So it was just so I was I was so happy when I found I I sat being like coming back to Pittsburgh and second being like yeah that was dope that was a good that was that was that was real good and yeah. then just sitting there just happy I ain't really hit him hit him just like Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I yeah I said you good you good you good I feel like all the defenders in practice are like man if I was on a different team I would love the chance to sack Ben. Oh, you know that's all we think about, like man. yeah, we just crazy like, like that. <laughs> yeah, like you know, all, all we think about, boy, we played against y'all. We we a kill y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so that, and you got to live out the dream. You got to live out yeah. the dream. Boy, and that's why I went over there, and then I flexed on. Uh, I flexed. I flexed. Like flexed my muscles over there, Coach T. I should have got a flag, but uh, <laughs> that's what. Uh, Danny Smith was sitting there talking so much junk to me. Oh, <laughs> Coach T. Danny's man. always talking junk. But yeah, that was that was that was one of my best best sets. But it was only a half. Fletch, Fletch kind of stole and jumped in on it too. But it should have been a full though. Wow, Fletch. Fletch Fletch is always trying to steal your sex. Is that what you tell me? I mean, you know, everybody do too though. You know, oh, how TJ's it. the worst. TJ's yeah. the worst. <laughs> Bro, you could be fully wrapped up with a sack, and TJ's oh. coming out of nowhere trying to punch at the ball. And I'm like, bro, what are you doing? He's like, if I knock out the ball, I get, I get the sack. And I'm like, I literally you see, I think I think you had a couple. I think it's either Buffalo or Cincy last year. And I see TJ just come and just jump out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> then you know he's going to run and kick his leg up like he got oh, the yeah. whole sack. So, yeah, that's, and this that's is for all our viewers. The sack goes to whoever celebrates. <laughs> oh, is that how it works? Is that yes, how it works? You always have to make sure you celebrate. I learned I learned early, so that's when I like if it's a half a sack, I'm running. <laughs> I'm the first person <laughs> running. So you're not celebrating just to celebrate, you're celebrating to get the sack. To get yeah, the sack. you gotta you gotta convince the people. You gotta you gotta, convince. Convince. You gotta <laughs> convince Elias because everybody is going to make sure they send in their report of how the sack played out. And then Elias makes the final call. Because once Elias, Elias, boy, yeah, he hold a lot of power. In the- <laughs> <laughs> he hold a lot of power, boy. It's, I done turned in so many sacks, and he denied, like, everyone but, like, Wait, one. did you turn in my sacks? Of course. Oh. oh my- <laughs> Cam, I swear, I still look at, when it's, like, 37 and a half, I'm like, Cam really took that half a sack from me in Denver. <laughs> You so didn't you even touch the quarterback. What you mean? Oh, you, okay. bull, you, bull rushed, you bull rushed him to the quarterback, and I clipped him. Well, that was the Denver game. That was the Denver yeah. game. Oh, That's yeah. About. Yeah. Remember, I remember when you were being mad about it, and they were like, you got half a sack. I was like, I ain't going to argue. I know you was like, ooh, well, thank you. Because <laughs> I, I had the same thing. I think it was, uh, I think I turned in a sack, like, because I've, like, tripped him off of somebody. They said, you got to touch the quarterback. I'm like, so what's the rules? Like, what's the rules on how you get the sack? It all depends. I do remember that. I look at yours. I look, I'm telling you, I look at it. They like, Cam really took that half a sack from me, and they let him take it. Wow. Wow. You did, though. You, got, you, know, you know I gave you a little layup. That was a little layup. Like, you ain't <laughs> even know. He still thinks about it, Cam. He still thinks about it, clearly. Hey, man. Cam, no. I was, was I stole, I've gotten more stolen from me. So, it is what it is. Yeah, it's part of, the, it's part of it, though. <laughs> it is, though. Yeah, I done job. I'm, it's part of it. That's why I said. Lies hold a lot of keys. So he, <laughs> he hurt a lot of people. Yes. <laughs> um, Is there anything... Uh, you miss about being with the Steelers? Uh, I think the most, it's the funny thing is I uh, walk in football days. Like, oh, you know, walking football days. Yeah, walking football. <laughs> like, that That was, like, some of the best times. We, uh, what was it, me and you versus TJ and Bud? Like, TJ, Bud, yeah. Chick. Then we would be me, you, then and Tua. it. To it. Yeah, oh, like, my gosh. Man, that used to be one of the some of the funnest times when we used to play walking football. What was it like every what was it Wednesday it was or like Thursday? A, it was a twenty yard span. You had to get to the or was it no, it was twenty yards, right? Because yeah, we it was like going. twenty. But then we uh then we play like when when we play, we play like when it like every like was it Thursday before practice or when we, we play every Friday before practice. Cause that okay, was yeah, Friday. Friday. 
it yeah. was. And then in the preseason, it it was took on a life of its own. Like what? Remember, we used to literally run out there. To get oh my gosh! Away. It got to the point that like I think Coach T didn't start watching us. Like yeah. we was really competing in that walking football. <laughs> well, then like you you think everybody can throw like. Uh, a good pass, and some of our teammates back then were trash at throwing. Who, who was they? Who was they? We had Tyson. We had we, Tyson at our quarterback. We had Tyson. <laughs> and I think they let Chick throw. That's what time. it was. That's and, what it was. Oh man, that was, those were some rough throws. And that was, yeah, that was something. I think that's like the low key, like that little, like low key little thing I missed, like because that was like some. Uh, you know, we was just talking so much junk. It's just, oh. TJ catch a pass. I think he just all world at wide receiver. So Bud was like the worst person out there. <laughs> then we used to like double TJ, leave Bud wide open. Yeah, that was like that was like my uh, one of my top moments in Pittsburgh. Oh, and wow. the, and, and I say the Coach T speeches before the game, like the night before the game speeches with Coach T was top. top what was your favorite speech? What is it like? It was the, uh, I think he said if you, uh, I mean, it'd be like a big game. I can't remember what he is. Oh, you want me to tell you what it is? Which one? Like you, yeah. <laughs> a player speech. Everybody talks about the A player speech. Man, that's exactly what it is. What it, it, it's always those big games, and Mike T goes, he's like, you know, if you're an A player, you play like an A player. If you think you're an A player, you play like an A player. And if you a B player, don't come out. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally go to the room like, oh, yeah, I'm, I got to show up tomorrow. Like, it's, yeah, he was telling, like, it felt like he was talking to you. <laughs> yeah. Like, everybody thought they was the A player. So it was just kind of like, yeah, that was like, that was that was definitely my top one with Coach T. Mm -hmm. Like, because it definitely had me like, like, wasn't that like the night before the game, like type speech? Like, mm -hmm. so I was going to bed, like, yeah, I got, <laughs> I got to show up more. Like, I got to yeah. have a game. Like, yeah, it, and coaches, I learned everybody don't give that little, you know, little more little shade, <laughs> you know, like not trying to throw no shade to nobody, but everybody ain't got that where they can uh, have everybody feeling that type of way before a game. Tickets to the game, merch, meals at iconic restaurants, stays at Caesar's Palace. All this can be yours when you bet with Caesar Sportsbook. Win or lose, every bet earns reward credits, which you can redeem across the empire. Now, if you haven't started yet, register using code OmahaFull and then place your first bet. Up to $1,250. If you win, great. You keep those winnings. But if you lose, you'll get your stake back as a bonus bet. Well, then let's move to the Eagles since you, since you want to go there. Was the field really wet when you went to the, the Super Bowl? Man, bro, that was the worst feel ever. Like, like, I hate, I hate to talk about it because they be feeling like we're making excuses. But, but it's like when I, uh, when we was doing warm ups, like literally get offs, I slipped like twice. Like just, you know, just warming up, like doing get off. The grass was coming up, like on the cleat, like the, oh, the grass was moving. So it's like then we, uh. I never switch cleats at halftime. I'm switching to the studs, like to the studs I never wore, and I'm still slipping in my cleats. I said, "Man, I don't." They they swear they paid billions of dollars for the field, but boy, that was the worst field I ever played on. Like, wow. Yeah, I can't. I I can't believe they did us like that, though. But that ain't the reason we lost. A little bit, just a little, little, <laughs> little, little. little, little. <laughs> it's a, it's a little percentage though. It's a little percentage, but that was that was that was that was a bad feel though. Take us oh. through your thought your thoughts during the Super Bowl because you guys started off dumb hot. Mm -hmm. Man, my thoughts. It was like you know we uh about to go into halftime. Patrick Mahomes get hit. He started screaming like you know like because you know he was dealing with the ankles. So in my head, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this is over. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it, but you know, in my head, I'm like, if Patrick Mahomes can't run, we're about to go get Patrick Mahomes. Like, woo, it's over with now. Like, thank you. Like, we about to go win this. Man, he come out the first drive and just cook us. Like, just like ain't nothing wrong with him. So when I see the quarterback thing coming, I'm just like, this was part of like this probably was part of like the you know, like, script. 
That was part of the script, huh? The I'm script. like, this part of the script. Like, you know, like the Paul Pierce. What we call it? The Paul Pierce. Oh, Paul no. Pierce. He, he wasn't on a stretcher, though. They they had Paul Pierce looking like Damn, he wasn't good. He was screaming on the field like, ah, like it was over. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm like, either he about to be limping. Oh, I'm like, who the backup quarterback? It's Chad Hetty. You didn't. Yeah, so you didn't think Chad Hetty could win? Come on. <laughs> I said, "Oh, I'm about to win the Super Bowl." <laughs> <laughs> boy, Patrick Mahomes came out there and cooked this boy. I was so mad, bro. I was so mad and so hurt after that game, man. Like, oh, damn, that was like, boy, that 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 changed so quick. <laughs> Taught me everything I need to know about the NFL. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose focus. <laughs> yeah. Don't lose it. Um, what made the Eagles' D line so special last season? I think we really all complimented each other, um, but I will say, like, not even us. It was like, like you know that moment, like when we got Joe Hayden, like, like dang, we got Joe. We about to have time. We about to eat now. I think that's how it was for us when we got James Bradbury and uh, CJ. Gardner, and then we already had Slay. Mm-hmm. I think them boys just making the quarterback trying to pack the ball sometimes just gave us time to rush. Because I always thought we was we was real good, like even the year before. But then we added Hassan and we added Bradbury. It was like it just it just clicked. I think it just all worked in one. Like uh, our DBs being able to you know just stop the look the first read and giving us time to go get the quarterback. It just it just happened so great for us. How many guys did you guys have that uh, had double digit sacks? We had four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me, BG, Hassan, Sweat. And you had like Fletch still had seven. So it's like you know, wow. seven sacks still. Like, that's wow. bomb, man. Yeah. yeah. It was just like, yeah, it was, uh, bro, we was, yeah, we was eating. That was a great time. It's like every week it'd be somebody different. Like, oh, I got two. Damn, yeah. Hassan just got two. Dang, BG just had three. The sweat get two, and then flesh get one. It's, man, it was that was fun to watch and fun to be a part of. Though, hmm. what, what's one thing you miss about Philly? You feel? I think it's the I, uh, Philly. Oh, uh, honestly, is is uh they they believe in sports science, so you know we uh we. <laughs> I hate to say it, but we, didn't, we didn't put the pads on a lot in like training camp or like like on Wednesdays, like like later in the season. I know I'm, I ain't even get to that yet, but I know I'm gonna miss like we used to have the walkthroughs on Wednesdays, like in practice Thursdays. Wait, and, just a walkthrough? Yeah, after like week ten, you know, keep everybody fresh. But <laughs> Cam's hoping the Steelers, the Steelers front office is watching this. Hey, He's hoping. Yeah. Awesome. So what? Yeah, that walkthroughs was like, on Wednesdays. Walkthroughs on Wednesdays, Cam. Walk and it wasn't a short week. No. Oh like my after week 10, gosh. After week, after week ten, it was like that was like the you know they big on sports science, and I agree. Like they need to be the new wave, and then <laughs> I, I need I need to I can play to one forty playing there. Shoot, that, hey, that's what that's what everybody's saying. Like, ooh, this is this the NFL. I'm gonna last forever. So that was like. You know, they just I think that's why we were so fresh too at the same time, just being able to you know, about time game time come on back, juiced up. Like we we running. We ready to go now. So yeah, that I'm definitely gonna miss that around my I okay. know I'm, I'm about to be banging. I know that's just that's that ain't many places in the NFL, but <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Miss that. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know, I wanna I wanna talk about the Hargrave sweepstakes. Because it's gonna lead me to the 49ers. But how was it being a free agent and being courted so highly by so many different teams? And who was out there? Bro, well, it was like it was like uh I, you know, I went through free agency when I went to Philly. So I'm thinking I know what's going on, but I guess since this year I'm like the top free agent. Like nobody ever like called my phone like when I was going to Philly, like to recruit me, like <laughs> to tell me to come places. So I'm, like, getting calls from, like, players just, like, you know, like, just, you know, you can kind of tell, like, oh, like, like, oh, y'all want me over here? Like, so I'm getting calls from even, like, uh, like, from uh, Trent and, like, the 
like George Kittle, like before, like day of free agency, just talking to me like, you would love it over here. Like you would, you would love to be over here. Then I get calls from like, yeah, I know y'all hate this one, but like like the Nick Chubbs and like oh, the Sean. You ain't going to Cleveland. You yeah, going that, to Cleveland. that was never gonna happen. Never. You would have been booed in Pittsburgh. You would have been. Booed yeah, in you you would have booed. Yeah, hey, y'all, I think, and it's funny because I think it was the the being a Pittsburgh fan back in the day. That's what I thought. Like, click. Yeah. <laughs> I said I can't be hated like that. I can't be hated like that. <laughs> so, but it was like, bro, it was so, it was so, it was so dope because then you hear about like, like the money, like everybody, like there's everybody talking. Good money. Like I didn't know. It's so funny. I told I I told somebody the other day. I didn't even know I was about to get paid leaving Pittsburgh until we in the defensive <laughs> meeting. And TJ, remember TJ, TJ and Bud. We sitting in a meeting. TJ and Bud and I looked on Sports Track or they, Spot Track. They, yeah, yeah, Spot Track. <laughs> He's still looking at that. Hey, you about to make fourteen million? I said, what? Let me see that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I swear. I said, I said, hold on. They said I'm gonna make how much? And after that, I was like, I'm about to get paid. <laughs> about to get paid. <laughs> but, like, leaving Philly, like, I knew. I knew, like, like I knew what was going on. Like, I knew I was about to get get a bag. Like, after the Super Bowl, I was hurt. But I was like, ooh. Like, like you know, like, ooh, where am I about to go now? Like, what's yeah. about to happen now? So, it was definitely a great experience, like, um, getting recruited by players and talking to coaches about, you know, telling me what I can do for their team and, you know, Seth, I feel like San Fran was like the best choice for me, though. Was Sa- it, it was San Fran, Cleveland. Was there anybody else? Uh, of course, Philly. But, yeah, once, you know, they, <laughs> they like, we ain't paying you this. <laughs> All right. We're just going to excuse ourselves from the table. We, yeah. we, 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 <laughs> we love you. <laughs> we wish you well. But <laughs> bye. <laughs> So it was really came down to San Fran and Cleveland. Uh, mm-hmm. That was like my top two choices. And it's like, it's like weird. It's like, you know, you're on a, you got to make a decision. Like, dang, like, you got teams, two teams calling. It's like, I don't, I'm like, I'm, I'm getting a massage at the time. Like, <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. I heart pounded. I don't know. I don't want to make the wrong choice. Then I just, I think there's I not a wrong it. choice to make. Uh, yeah, you it know what you're wrong. Like no. you, you want to, like you gonna get paid, but you want to be in a great situation. You, but you weren't going to Cleveland. Let, let's go ahead and deny I that. Did. I was a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> no hate to Cleveland. I was a little scared. I was a little scared. <laughs> they got a great thing going, but yeah, I just San Fran. It just felt like, uh, you know, they just they got a real talented team. I and mean, you just be a talented defensive line and being around, you know, coming from Pittsburgh, leaving Philly, it's just like. I just want to get the uh, get like kind of the similar similar atmosphere. So I feel like San Fran was one of the, uh, my top choice. All right, this next question uh, was brought to you, brought to me by some of my teammates. Uh, Kenny and the O line want to know: Is Bosa going to be there uh, week one? Boy, I don't know. I'm praying. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't seem too encouraging, though, Ken. I don't think he's very confident in that. I I don't think he's very confident in that. I'm still still looking like y'all looking every day, just hoping I see the thing, you know. (laughs) But I don't know. I hope so. Uh, We got a great team, but I just know that, you know, we need need our top dog there. We need our our big dog there. So I I hope. I hope. Have you had time to really uh, work out with him or, you know, pick his brain at all? I did a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, the mini camp, um, but he, he haven't really been here, so I didn't get to talk to him like I want to mm-hmm. talk to him yet. But mm-hmm. definitely look forward to talking to him, just you know, see his little routine, what he go through, and yeah. why he is what he is. So um, I'm excited to play with him. Yeah, hopefully next week. <laughs> we good. <laughs> in a couple of weeks. We we yeah, we, yeah. Hold we, on. Three, we need, we need that game one. Yeah. I already know what Coach. Yeah, I know what y'all gonna try to be on. So we need all that. We need all that. We need all our all our stuff. All right. So now I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna talk through. I'm gonna name some guys, and I just want to get your feelings about each of them. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Jason Kelsey. Man, Kels. 
Kel's Kel's very very football savvy. Uh, you know, like it's so crazy. Uh, I hate to keep telling story. I remember you remember I used to play with Coach Coach Mitch. We used to have to play front side a gap like at nose. And I thought I was doing so great until we played Kels and I'm playing his own team. And he reached me every time. And, like, they was gaining, like, 15 yards a pop. And I'm just in there. You know, this is, like, my second game of the season. I'm like, I don't know if I can play in the league. Like, I just started having these little doubts because Kels was killing me. And then when I got to Philly and realized, like, he really, like, he direct the whole – I'm not saying he direct. He, 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 he would be a great coach one day because, like – like, if, yeah, I don't know if y'all, we play Philly this year. If y'all playing Philly, boy, whatever y'all doing, it's just like you got to be real strategic, like, because he, he going to know when y'all running games or he going to know what blitz coming. Like, he 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 real, he a real good dude on stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. very smart. TJ Watt. TJ? I, see, you know, I caught the young TJ. So, I feel like yeah. the young TJ. Our young TJ, you know, me and TJ, like, we always sitting in the plane talking about – how we going to get paid or how, you know, how we can get better. But, yeah, TJ, my guy, man. I love looking at TJ from a distance, um, just seeing how much he done grown. So when he first came in, you know, uh, we just seen that thing. Oh, they just drafted him because his brother. <laughs> like, you know, like, uh, like they just drafted him because JJ, his brother. Then, too, like, you know, seeing him, like, I think the first time we put on pass, just seeing him start snatching people and, going around people like, oh, yeah, this a dude. Like, this yeah. going to be a guy one day. So, I just, you know, yeah, that's my guy. Just uh, respect his game. Fletcher Cox. Fletch, you know, Fletch, playing with Fletch, like, Fletch, and, and, and like, football-wise, Fletch and you is, like, similar because y'all, uh, I think I, I learned the most from y'all, too, uh, just the way y'all go about it. You ain't never tell me like how to uh, how you used to do the like you know when you the center slide and you always went at the center. I never <laughs> knew what you were doing, but I think when I got the Philly, Fletch kind of like started teaching me some things. Like, wait, what was I doing? I, I want you to. I want to see if you know. Man, you knew when I know. I know now when they call it. I don't even want to give it away because hopefully y'all <laughs> off his line. But you know when they call it a slide. You attacking the center, like you you giving the shape board to the center. You got so many sacks off of that. Yeah. I never knew why you was doing it. But when I got, you know, got older and I done got the Philly, that's when I learned, like, oh, so this is what Cam was doing. <laughs> Cam, what kind of mentor are you to not <laughs> share that information with your young guy that you announced on draft night? Hey man, you gotta learn these things over time. You can't you can't Give them all the information. They got to learn it for themselves. Cam too. was killing people. Like, I'm like, why are you going at the center? Like, but yeah, later I learned what you Plus, they're usually the lightest ones, too. Let's be honest. Nah, they didn't even cost the matchup. <laughs> I, say, you, I think you had a crazy one against the center or somebody. Like, but I, uh, but like I said, Fletch, Fletch, Fletch a great dude, bro. Like, he, uh, he really know football. Like, he one of the ones like Kelsey on the defensive side. Like, Anytime people are trying to quick count us and stuff like that, he know when the quick count coming, like undefeated. Or he know when the trap coming. Like, he don't get trapped at all. So he one of them dudes, like, if you're on the field with, like, you're going to know so much what's about to happen. So, yeah, Fletcher, good dude. Eric Armstead. Eric, I'm still learning Eric, but Eric, uh, Eric, a good, he the same way. It's crazy, I'm saying he he just like Fletcher them. Like, he uh very information, like. He tells me what kind of runs y'all like right now, or <laughs> like what y'all trying to do on certain plays. Like Eric, 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 uh, very talented defensive player, and um, just a kind of quiet demeanor too. Like very quiet, but uh, bro, they're very, very great against the run in the uh, past. So he's a great player too. Last one, Joe Thomas. You said Joe Thomas. <laughs> t- boy, shut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Were y'all still using that joke? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm still thinking like, who in the league? Man, Joe Thomas, boy. Joe, Joe Thomas, South Carolina State. Brought it back. Yeah, brought it back. TJ, I think TJ sent me something last year. And then, like, I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> y'all still joking about that, bro? <laughs> it's not even really a joke, but being 55 years old, and playing man, football. We, we just making history, man. He gained some yards, though. 
He did. He did. We he watched his carry. Yards. Man, he took a <laughs> shot too. I don't know how he got up at fifty five. I, I, I don't know either, boy. Yeah, I, I, don't know. Like, I ain't playing I feel that like you, you told me about him, and then you were like, "Man, he would just be in the cold tub right after practice." <laughs> Bruh, he was a. He definitely. He didn't play when I was there, but he was trying to play. That's why I was. Yeah, I'm like, eh. but that's <laughs> everybody, everybody. Every time I tell somebody. What school I went to? That's the first thing they bring up. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll, I'll say this on South Carolina State: y'all have four NFL players right now, right? Yeah, come on now, yeah. y- y'all are coming we, we, on. We we got some talent in the league. I think it's more than that, for real, for real. More hey, now? Well, we had we. I can't think, but yeah, we. I think we got more than that, for real. How did you get your name nickname Grave Dicker? Uh, I think uh, when I went to school, it started in South Carolina State, but uh, it was my defense coordinator. I don't know. I think I was just out there my freshman year. I was just out there killing folks. And, you know, they took the hard grade, just grade and added the digger. And then everybody, uh, everybody at my school, like, that's how everybody called me. Like, they didn't even know my name was hard grade or Javon. They didn't know my name. They just started calling me grade digger. Like, that was my, my name. And I think it just... You know, at the time, Instagram wasn't popping, but I put it as my my Instagram name at the time. And ta-da! Now it's, now it's clicking in the league. It just, you know, it just sound good. Now you got a little dance with it, too? You just digging graves now? Nah, I'm kicking down doors now, you know. You stole the creek kicking down the doors. I, I ain't steal that, though. I told you about that years ago, and then you just took off with it. I don't remember that. I don't remember that one here. I don't you remember wanna... the kicking down door. I will say the coldest celebration you ever had. Do you, do you know what it is? Well, I spent some time. Yes. <laughs> explain explain that story. Uh, I think uh, Coach Mitch. Coach Mitch was uh, great. Yeah, that was my dog. I wish I would call Coach Mitch when I got older because I called Coach Mitch as a young, you know, first or second year, so he was on my head. So I think uh, every time I do something wrong, he used to, like, how to laser like you need to spend some time with it you need to spend some time with it like so i think the first sack the first sack i got in the nfl i just got on my knee and started doing a little spend some time i was looking at him i looked at him and did it and that just that was my little thing i did it every time but you know i had to upgrade a little bit because ain't nobody know what i was doing people thought i was rolling down the window now they are you got to bring it back don't be doing it versus us now we yeah, ain't gonna do that would be a good uh-uh. one with y'all though nah we good you don't need y'all to do would that. know so it would be funny to do it against y'all because y'all would know so <laughs> you good you don't need to do that i might do that with dunbar when i see dunbar over there and get and get a job <laughs> i'm definitely looking over there at him <laughs> All right, I want to take us to our not just football segment. And um, I know you like to watch TV. Um, one of your favorite shows, you actually introduced me to it, uh, Walking Dead. It's crazy because I love Walking Dead. I used to love Walking Dead. Yes. But when they, when they, when Rick went off the show, I kind of like, it, and then uh, the son died. I was like, I can't watch this no more. <laughs> But then I put you on Game of Thrones, so that's top. That's top, though. That is because I used to. Uh, I remember you was watching. Y'all used to watch that like during the NBA Finals, and I'm like, bro, who watching Game of Thrones over the NBA playoffs? But boy, when I started, yeah, that was that's that's one of my top three. That's top three shows ever. And then top, I got to bring up your favorite documentary because I feel like every time I talk to you, you're like, oh, I'm rewatching it again. What are you watching? Was the Michael Jordan one? Yeah, <laughs> The Last Dance. Oh, yes, I watched that. I'm still watching that. But Why? Because it's so inspirational, bro. It's like, like you know, like the way we play. Like, or I have a bad practice or something. I go look. Like Michael Jordan had bad games, and it's like you can take so much from it. Like just like when he had his bad games, how everybody was talking junk about him. You know how this works. Like you know. We, you do the same thing, you know, like you just hear all the talk junk and it's just seeing somebody be able to use that. And like, I feel like that that's a way to, uh, you know, I just look at him like how you say he took everything personal. Like most of us do. Like <laughs> just, Very he just, he just, I just, and uh, I just, I just look, learn and uh, just learn things that he did to uh, help his game out. And like when I'm having bad games, 
or bad practices or trying to find some motivation. I just, what's my episode? I think it's episode six when he was sitting in the locker, when he was sitting in the locker and uh, his old teammate was sitting there talking junk because they just beat him and the media was talking junk and he just swinging that baseball back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, uh-huh. like, like, y'all don't want Michael Jordan up. That's like my favorite. That's my go-to with MJ is like, episode, I think it's episode six or seven. But that's like my go-to moment of like hearing, hearing all the doubt. Or they might not can do it this year. That's my go-to, and they, they just turn me up. I like that. I like that. All right, and then I'm gonna end with this: your favorite sack or play in your in your career so far? Is it my sack? The Kenny Pickett sack phone with the end of game. <laughs> just, just. Oh, that was the greatest moment. <laughs> that that was the that's, greatest moment. That's yeah, that's bro. only because he's talking to you, Cam. Only, it, it, every my, time I saw us, he's bro, changing my, that. My right now in my career, like old team, like I'm going against my dog. You know, like I'm going against my old team, and I got a chance to set the quarterback and get up from. Then I'm seeing Coach T on the side, like, nah, he do it, he do it. So I'm just, <laughs> I, I just love that. I just love that one. Like that was that was one of my best ones. And then I waited. I waited till like we recover. They over there trying to crib the bomb. Just looking like, all right, go down so I can celebrate. Like, because <laughs> if they would have scored the touchdown, we would have scored the touchdown off the fumble. Yeah. Oh, run down. And I'm like, go down, go down, so I could hit my little thing at the uh, midfield line. They look over there to the sideline. I ain't gonna talk too much junk because we play y'all this week. <laughs> I ain't got time. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't got time for this to backfire, so I ain't gonna say nothing else. But that, was, <laughs> that, was top, that was top moment for real. Well, Javon Hargo, I want to say thank you for coming on. You have been a great guest. Um, you know, you talked a whole bunch of mess. I'm gonna make sure to share this with all my teammates right now. Yeah, tell, 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 tell Coach T, man. Uh, tell me what he putting on that. Uh, what he's saying about the kid on a uh, team meeting on what is it Monday or Wednesday? Yeah, it'll be on Wednesday. What is, what, what is it? Uh, Nameless gray faces this week. You're, you're a nameless gray face this week. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, yeah. Let me know. Let me know what he say so I can prepare. I'll tell you after the game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to say thank you so much for coming on, brother. You've been a heck of a teammate. Uh, great interview, and um, I'm really lucky to call you a friend, dude. Appreciate Already, you. bro. I'm glad y'all had me, man. I enjoyed myself. Thank you. Yes, sir.